It's called Beyond KFC. It's all plant-based, soy protein, and just, you, you gotta taste this. Just try it. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Words to live by when it comes to the top 15 world's strangest fast food and junk food. Part two. They've got egg McMuffins. We got egg McStuffins. Cheetos Quesadilla. Taco Bell Philippines. We went to Taco Bell. Eric, he starts crying in Taco Bell. Another entry, another Taco Bell gem that sounds a little strange at first, but quickly won over the hearts of whoever took a bite. Taco Bell Philippines went all in with their 2016 menu item, an extra crunchy quesadilla, which quickly gained popularity. The Cheetos quesadilla combined the iconic cheesy menu item with an even more iconic snack and created either a one-of-a-kind delight or an abomination, depending on where you stand on the whole hybrid fast food item debate. With a very simple mix of a quesadilla with jalapeno flavored Cheetos and Taco Bell's three cheese blend, it's a wonder how these never made their way onto the American menu. Why? Some people thought this was a stroke of genius, while others thought it was an absolute fail. Either way, you can't deny that the Cheetos quesadilla did look rather strange. Just a little bit. I can't stress the littleness of it enough. Cap'n Crunch Delights, Taco Bell, USA. Hey, Cap'n, got a second? It's Captain. Back in 2015, the world of fast food breakfast was rocked when Taco Bell released its sugary creation, the Cap'n Crunch Delights. These very unusually bright pink-reddish treats were deep-fried balls coated in crushed Cap'n Crunch berries cereal and filled with a sweet cereal milk and were supposed to evoke sugary childhood memories. That's interesting. That's very interesting. While these were arguably delicious, you have to admit they were pretty uncommon and somewhat strange, especially for people who aren't used to eating sugar bombs so early in the morning. The Cap'n Crunch delights have since been discontinued, but people still remember how crunchy, sugary, and sweet these little fried balls of goodness were. It is the best. Kudo Pearl Burger, Burger King Japan. Wow. This feels good. You obviously can't make a list of the world's strangest fast junk food without including some findings from Japan. One honorable mention is definitely the Kuro Pearl Burger, also known as the Ninja Burger or the Black Burger from Burger King. This unappetizing burger was black from top to bottom, with only the colorful tomatoes, onions, and lettuce to act as counterbalance. It included black cheese made from bamboo charcoal, a black sauce made with black squid ink, as well as a charred black bun infused with charcoal. I can't eat this! While the appearance was rather intimidating, that taste was said to be very unique and worth trying at least once. Okay, let's give it a try. Sweet Potato Soft Serve, McDonald's Singapore. Rio Sweet Potato Pone. This time, we're visiting McDonald's Singapore, where they serve Sweet Potato Soft Serve. First introduced in May 2019, the frozen treat consists of a swirl of purple sweet potato soft serve on top of a crisp waffle cone, and was only available for a limited time. However, it was so popular that the company brought it back the year after and eventually distributed it all across Asia. Ah, very nice. Even though sweet potato isn't the first delectable flavor that comes to mind when someone says ice cream, it's one of the most popular flavors in many Asian countries and is slowly making its way over here. Hopefully, this particular uncommon dessert will end up on our regular menu sometime soon. Gotta stay optimistic, you know? Greek Mac, McDonald's, Greece, and Cyprus. It's very Greek. Over here, when it comes to McDonald's, we're all about the Big Mac. It's the most classic thing to get, and one of the tastiest by far. In Greece and Cyprus, however, the Big Mac isn't the star of the menu. That doesn't sound right. Instead, the Greek Mac is the ultimate treat, with its two beef patties, lemon sauce, onions, lettuce, and sliced tomato wrapped together in a pita bread. Often described by foreigners as a Big Mac infused with Greek flavors, the Greek Mac Mac should definitely be on your bucket list of things to eat if you ever have the chance. The pita bread might throw you off a bit at first, but trust us, once you get past the fact that there is no actual bun, you'll make this your new favorite. Delicious. 
Tabasco Sunday, McDonald's Hong Kong. Okay, let's say it is ice cream, but I didn't need it. I couldn't have. I'm lactose intolerant. McDonald's Hong Kong wasn't messing around when it partnered up with Tabasco to create an interesting dessert, the Tabasco Sunday. What? It was in 2017 that the flaming collaboration came out, which also included a burger made with a thick-cut Angus beef patty, Tabasco mayo dressing, and various other toppings, as well as shake-shake fries dusted with powdered Tabasco spice. It was the Sunday, however, that upstaged everything, and for good reason. The treat had a rich chocolate fudge tinged with a spicy flavoring over a creamy vanilla soft serve. The cold of the ice cream mixed perfectly with the heat from the Tabasco. Not too sweet and not too fiery. Pass. Yeah. Zinger Double Down King, KFC South Korea. Fried chicken is fry fry chicky chick. Do you feel like you can never have enough chicken in your sandwich? Well, no matter how you feel, the Zinger Double Down King from KFC South Korea can meet all of your poultry needs. With its two flattened pieces of deep fried chicken to replace the buns, a beef patty, and bacon slathered in rich barbecue and white pepper sauces, it was anything but the picture of health. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> the Zinger Double Down King was an offshoot of KFC's beloved Double Down, which was released in the U.S. four years prior. Clocking in at an impressive 750 calories, the veggie monster was without a doubt an extravagant way to fill yourself up. It does beg the question, though, what could possibly be next when it comes to replacing the traditional bun? Bacon? Fish? Anything goes, really. Yeah, no biggie. Donut Burger, Burger King Israel. Eat the donut. More commonly called the Sufgani King, the Donut Burger by Burger King was launched on December 25, 2016 in Israel to celebrate Hanukkah. In terms of toppings, nothing really stood out or seemed too way out there. It was just a regular Whopper. But look closely at the buns, and that's when the oddity of it all comes into focus. Since the Festival of Lights is often celebrated by eating copious amounts of oily fried foods like Sufganya, a a jelly-filled donut, Burger King wanted to honor that tradition as much as possible. This is why, instead of the regular buns, the Sufgani King held all of the toppings inside two fried donut buns filled to the brim. Mm -hmm. This is a tasty burger. Don't worry, these donuts were filled with ketchup and not jelly. McD's didn't go that far. Good for them. Fish and Chips Gelato, Australia. Australia, mate! <laughs> Ice cream flavors can sometimes get out of hand. Cereal, milk, and booger, we're looking at you. But Australia took things one step further in terms of weird flavor creations. Hold on to your hats, this one's a crazy one. Fish and chips gelato. Yes, Kylis gelato took the Aussie favorite food and turned it into an ice cream flavor, with the help of two Italian flavor scientists from Italy's Bigaton company. Ah, uh, scusi, baba da boopy? Che cosa? Peter, what are you doing? Speak in Italian. Apparently, despite its fishy name, the gelato is on the sweet side and isn't overpowered by the taste of fish. According to critics, it has a nice creaminess to it, and people shouldn't be too afraid to try it, despite the off-putting name. So it's really up to whether or not you feel brave enough to expose your taste buds to this fish-flavored gelato. Ugh. Yeah. Ew. Ugh, gross, right, guys? Snack al Parmigiano, McDonald's, Italy. Let's talk health insurance. Your dependents don't have it anymore. Have some illegal cheese. It's no surprise that in European countries like Italy, cheese is a pretty big deal. However, sometimes that love seems, well, straight up intense. Take the snack al parmigiano, for example. Indeed, at McDonald's across Italy, you can actually substitute your french fries for a bar of parmigiano reggiano cheese. You can eat it as is to accompany your burgers or crumble it up and add it to your salad. No matter what, you're still really just ordering a whole brick of cheese. Now describe what you taste. Cheese. And 
Jeez. Of course, this is Italy we're talking about, so the quality of said cheese will probably be ten times better than if we ever had the same option. But still, this side dish still seems a little out of place at McD's. As we keep moving on, take a second to hit that like button, would ya? Thank you. Next! Buffalo Latte, Tim Hortons, Canada. Would you be requiring a cold beverage while you're here? I'd love some coffee. While Tim Hortons is a Canadian fast food slash coffee chain, this particular item was sold at two of its USA locations back in 2017. Yes, someone really thought the world could use such a thing as a buffalo latte. Oh, hold that thought. Offered for a limited time at two of their locations in none other than Buffalo, New York, the very unusual drink consisted of freshly brewed espresso, steamed milk, and bold buffalo sauce flavor topped with whipped cream and a dusting of zesty buffalo seasoning. Definitely not your average latte. The combination of buffalo sauce and coffee threw a lot of people off at first, making it an unpopular choice. Yet, the buffalo latte was still able to attract some curious cats who wanted to see what it might be like to experience this strange coffee combo. Good luck with that. Meatarian Burgers, Burger King, New Zealand. Everyone? Meet your meat. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Vegetarians, cover your ears, and meat lovers, listen up, because this next burger is the epitome of meatiness. Burger King New Zealand went all out in 2016 when it released its meatarian menu with three burgers, each one meatier than the last. You had the full meaty, the half meaty, and the bacon meaty. The full meaty had two beef patties, a chicken patty, six strips of bacon, Bacon, two slices of cheese, onions, and a tangy barbecue sauce. Shut up and take my money! While the half meaty and the bacon meaty were smaller than the giant beast, they were still significantly big enough to fill you up. The meatarian menu isn't strange per se, but it does seem a little on the extreme side, but probably quite delicious nonetheless. Noise. Chicken flavored chocolate truffles, KFC New Zealand. Chocolate is for cake, not chicken. When you hear chocolate, you most likely think about pairings like peanut butter or fruit. You know, something on the sweet side. But we guarantee the first thing that pops into your head is not chicken. Cuckoo ka cha! Cuckoo ka cha! Yet that didn't stop KFC from releasing a limited edition box of chicken flavored chocolate truffles in New Zealand. The release lined up just in time for Mother's Day, meaning you could treat your mom with some very questionable chocolate for her special day. A risky move indeed. KFC partnered up with Kako Chocolate, an artisan chocolatier, to come up with the recipes. Definitely an uncommon combination of flavors, but hey, mama did always say a life was like a a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Firecracker Burrito, Taco Bell, USA. Necesita burritos. By now, you've probably figured out that Taco Bell is no stranger when it comes to releasing strange menu items, such as the Firecracker Burrito. Back in 2017, the chain launched an exploding new burrito a few weeks after Independence Day. The Firecracker Burrito was loaded with rice, cheese, beef, and red tortilla strips, spicy chipotle sauce, sour cream, and nacho cheese cheese, all wrapped inside a red tortilla. All sounds good so far. <laughs> yeah, boy. But the real piece de resistance was the spicy popping crystals. These little Tabasco-infused pop rocks turned this seemingly regular burrito into a truly festive treat. The firecracker burrito was tested in some markets for a limited time, but never had its time to fully shine. How sad is that? Grilled eel-flavored Lay's Asia. What? what? Lay's is known to have come out with some pretty crazy flavors over the years, but it's the grilled eel chips that a lot of people thought was peculiar. All over grocery stores in Japan and China, the grilled eel flavored Lay's looked much like ordinary classic Lay's. Without any visible seasoning powder, they still packed a strong eel taste, which did not agree with everyone. Oops. 
While they weren't the worst option available, they definitely missed the mark flavor-wise. So when in doubt, sticking with the flavors you know and love remains your best option. Indeed. Indeed. Get a taste of more great videos. Just tap or click, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad. And hey, leave us a comment.